Hi and welcome. In this tutorial, I will discuss about the relay device and how we can control a load with the help of this device. First of all, there are a number of relays available in the market, but in this tutorial, I am going to discuss about this particular relay with 5 pins. And in simulation, I will use this transistor as a switch to control the relay. In the Proteus ISIS, I can get a simple relay device model by typing the relay and I have this animated relay model. For this relay device, we have two terminals for this relay coil to energize the relay and we have these three contacts on the right hand side to switch the supply. This entire circuit is from my last video tutorial where I use this transistor as a switch to drive a load. I will just delete this and connect my relay to the collector of a transistor. I need 12 volt supply. The relay device which I am using on the hardware side is having a 12 volt rated relay coil. So here the same voltage is mentioned for the relay coil. I have to connect a 12 volt DC source on one terminal of the relay and the other terminal of the relay will be connected to a transistor's collector. So if I run the simulation, we can see this blue line is denoting a contact which is connected to this terminal and this terminal. This terminal is known as common terminal. This terminal is known as NC or normally closed terminal. And the second terminal of the relay is known as NO or normally open terminal. Now the switch is open, transistor is off. That's why this contact is made between the common terminal and NC terminal. If I press this button and this transistor will help to energize the relay coil and with the energizing of this relay coil this contact will be attracted towards the NO contact and now this common contact is connected to the normally open contact. If I release this push button again the transistor will turn off this relay coil will de-energize and with the help of a spring action this contact will revert back to its original position. Now as I have a DC fan connected on my hardware I will also get a DC motor for simulation and I will select this simple DC motor. One end of this DC motor I will connect to the anode terminal and other terminal of DC motor will be connected to the ground. Now on the common terminal of the relay we need to connect a power source. We can see this motor also requires 12 volt supply. So this source must be able to provide 12 volts on the common terminal. Now if I run the simulation, you can see this motor is off because this transistor is off, this relay coil is not energized and this contact is resting at its initial position. If I press the button, with the energizing of this relay coil, this contact will be connected to this terminal and because we are connecting a 12 volt source at the common terminal of the relay, this terminal will provide the supply path from the anode terminal to the DC motor and in this way we can operate a DC fan or DC motor with a relay. One important point here to discuss about the relay is that whenever we are going to use this type of coil with a transistor or within our circuit, we need to provide a free willing diode across this coil. You can use 1N4007 diode as a free willing diode and it should be in this order. The negative terminal of the diode must be connected to the supply line and the positive terminal is connected to the collector of the transistor. I have this setup where a relay will turn on this DC fan. I have this wire bring out from my circuit instead of a push button. If I connect this wire to the base of a transistor then it will activate the relay and it will also turn on the fan with the help of this relay. This LED is just for an indication that our relay is energizing or not. If I remove this input supply from the base of the transistor, it will turn off the relay as well as the DC fan. We can use this relay module with any microcontroller and we can write a program to control AC as well as DC loads with the help of this relay and a transistor.
So thanks for watching this video. Subscribe the channel.